Tom and ask if you would be so kind as to spare a dollar? Okay, thanks anyway. Excuse me, ma'am? Can I have a dollar? Please, I have two kids. I'm a father and it's just me and them. Please, no need for your apologies. A, a dollar is all I require, you see. My daughter, she has cancer. The same as my wife, and my wife, she died last year. The pain was too much for her to bear, and I couldn't stand there to watch the cancer get away at her like rats nibbling off the alley trash. So I told her to go home to that dumpster in the sky, and that was a joke between she and I. And I said it as often as I could to make her laugh instead of cry. My son, my son is too young to understand that his sister is dying and his mother's passed on. So I look at the twinkle in his eye, try not to let it die, but it's, it's killing me inside because he's just a boy. He doesn't understand. He doesn't know any better. Rebecca. Rebecca, my daughter, last night under the Austin freeway, she asked me, Daddy, why do we live this way? What's wrong with us? When are we getting off these streets into a home? Where is our savior? Who will come and rescue us? And I, I couldn't answer her. Her inquisitive nature stoned me, so I caught my balance and ran to stand on the edge of this block immediately because last night was the first time she expelled blood from my mouth and when she coughed, I lost it literally. So I've been standing here religiously, planting in these soil clothes all day, trying to sway anybody to help, but they keep blowing right past me. And I just need to Not for drugs. I mean, I have the leftover medicine for my wife. I, I just need a dollar to save my daughter's life, so please. Can you spare a dollar? Thanks. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> From 